We're actually asked a number of questions by clients. One is, the first one would be, is the pearl natural or cultured? Um, a second one may be, you know, is it freshwater or saltwater? So did it originate in a freshwater mussel or a saltwater oyster? Then they will also want to know, is the color of the pearl, is it of natural origin or has it been treated or modified? Dies ist ein Röntgenkabinett, welches wir auf unsere Bedürfnisse umgebaut haben mit einem Messprogramm, bei dem wir die Perlen bestrahlen mit einer Röntgenquelle bei 4 mA und 94 kV. Bei der Bestrahlung des Objekts werden die Perlen angeregt. Wenn es eine Süßwasserperle ist, leuchtet sie am Ergebnis hell auf. Sind es Salzwasserperlen, dann bleiben sie schwarz auf dem Bild. We have plenty of uh, instruments which help us to conclude. And it's always, when it gets to a, to a result, it's always a combination of many observations and of many analytical data. So it starts with radiography, there is chemical data which we get, we have reactions on the UV light or reaction on the X-rays, but we have also an instrument like tomography where we see very precisely internal structures in three dimensions. So in this laboratory, we were able for the first time to extract DNA from a pearl. What we do is uh, um, within the drill hole, the existing drill hole of the pearl, we will uh, enlarge the inner part uh, and we will get out from there a fine powder of pearl from which we will extract the DNA. In the case the pearl has no drill hole, then we will go and drill where we know that there is more organic material. So from this pearl powder, we will extract the DNA. And the first thing that we do is we dissolve it in order to release the DNA in solution. When we got the DNA, then we want to read it. Because when we can read it, it tells us a lot of uh, information, like for example, from which pearl oyster it comes from, from which species it's an oyster, from uh, the Arabian uh, Gulf, uh, or from Australia, or from China, and so on. When we look at the pearl markets, we have the big production of cultured pearls, which in fact has also uh, brought down the prices. So we have, especially from China, huge amounts of freshwater cultured pearls, and they are very cheap, generally. So you talk about $100, maybe a few hundred dollars, or even less. And we have, on the other side, a very much a niche market of natural pearls, uh, very often also historical items where there were no cultured pearls at that time and these pearls have gone up in price tremendously in the last few years. There's like a boom in this market, I have to say.
的珍珠，是吧？